I think when I think about challenges and what we need to look forward to in the future of SciPy, it's really becoming that inclusive of all our membership. It's not just inclusive of being able to get everybody to come and join in, but once people have joined, how do we really create an organization that supports them all the way from those who join as undergraduates to those who are, let's go end of career, mm -hmm. but still SciPy membership. So to me, it's that really putting the lifetime in the sci-fi is probably our biggest thing we need to look at as an organization. Yeah, I, good points and related to what I was thinking, which has to do with with staying relevant um, in the lives of people and also in the field of psychology and also staying in the course. I think it's really easy sometimes in trying to meet practical demands to lose our way. Um, and one of my favorite things about our board meetings is that we constantly come back to the mission. In fact, I was sitting next to Sean and he had written the mission on a piece of paper. And then of course I read it over and over over the course of the, of the meeting because it was there for me. I like how we do that and I think that's a challenge that we rise to every time that we meet and that we need to continue being vigilant. So similar to what Sean said, I think that one of the biggest challenges is really defining what it means to be a Sakai member. What benefits are there to membership in terms of from when you first join as an undergraduate student or as a graduate student, as a faculty member, as an alumnus, and all the way through to, to end of career. And maybe even beyond end of career. You never stop being a psychologist. Once you are, you're not, and you never stop being a site kind member either. So really trying to broaden our reach and broaden our mission to be inclusive of all site kind members throughout their lifetime. There's lifetime membership for a reason, and we need to meet all of our, our members' needs and goals.